Hey guys, welcome to InventBox, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the boolean feature in Blender. So let's get started. If we start off with the cube and scale it up a little bit, now let's create a sphere and scale the sphere up as well to the same size as the cube and move it up. Now we're going to position the sphere right above the cube about halfway in and then halfway over and then from the other view we're going to put it in the same spot so right there in the corner now to do the boolean operation what we need to do is select the part that we want the boolean to be applied to so if we want the square to be cut into Let's select the cube first, go over to the modifiers tab, which looks like a wrench, click on it, and click on add modifier. Now click boolean, select the dropper tool, and select the sphere. Now you can see that the cube disappeared into the sphere, and that's the intersect operation. If we change the operation to difference, you can see now the cube is being cut away at the corner. Let's click apply. Now if I move the sphere over to a corner over here, you can see we now have a cutout made in the corner of our cube. If I want to do the opposite operation, I can select the cube add modifier boolean and select the sphere and if we do the intersect operation and click apply you can see now we have the negative of what it was before we just have the corner of the cube so that's one of the features of boolean now those are the two most commonly used um, boolean operations I think in my opinion now another very useful one that is not to be passed over is the union boolean so if we select the cube it doesn't matter which one you have selected and click on add modifier boolean and change the operation to union what this will do is it will make both of the objects one and then we'll select the cube and now if we click apply both of these objects are now one so if we go into edit mode you can see both of these objects are one they are now the same object and you could use that just to kind of blend some of the corners together there'll be plenty of features and times when you need to use the union feature so that's about it for the boolean operations they're pretty simple just kind of practice and get the hang of how to use them and you'll find plenty of situations where you need to use them and this will come in very handy so i hope you guys found this video useful and if you did i'll see you next time